Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on print properties and program settings. In 2016.141, we've made it a lot easier for you to work with the print properties, sizes, and program settings that you want and have QImage Ultimate start up the way you like each time. Let's take a look at how this works. When you start QImage Ultimate, it typically remembers the settings that were used in the previous session. So here we have an 8x10 on letter size paper, and I can add a couple prints here. I've got a couple 8x10s in the queue now. But I can also select a print and change the size of this 8x10 down to a 5x7. Now from that point forward, when I add new thumbnails, there'll be a 5x7, because 5x7 is the last intentional size change that I made. So you just continue working forward with that much simpler than it was in previous versions and it allows you to just keep moving forward with whatever you're doing. Now I've started with an 8x10 in this session and I've changed my size to 5x7. Now when I close QImage Ultimate and reopen it, because the last size change that I made was a 5x7 and that's what I was working with, when I start up QImage Ultimate the next time, it simply remembers the 5x7 because that's the last thing that I used. Now, if I want to lock in these settings, let's say that I like the 5x7 size. I can go up here to this lock button and give that a click and say lock in the current settings. It says settings are now locked. So now I can, let's say, add an 8x10. And now I've changed my preference to an 8x10, but because I locked in the 5x7 settings, if I close QImage Ultimate and reopen it, you'll see that it doesn't load the last size that I used, which was a 8x10. It will load the settings that I locked in every time, which is the five by seven. But it goes beyond that. You can actually <clears throat> load a package. Let's say we load a layout and I'm gonna use this package for an example here. A couple three by fives and some wallets. And I'll even change the number of copies to eight so that I get a package for each photo. You fill the page with the tractor, one of the lifeguard hut, and so on. Now, if I unlock the settings, if I close QImage Ultimate and reopen it now, it will actually go back to that package that I was using. Let's do that. Let's close it and reopen it. And because I unlocked the settings, it's just going to remember what I was using last, which was that 8up package. So now the package loads with eight copies and you're ready to go exactly how you had used it the last time. And of course you can lock in these settings as well. If you like to use that package, let's click on the lock button and you can lock the current and then these settings will be locked in allowing you to do a one up session of some four by sixes and still have QImage Ultimate load with the locked in settings. But you notice here that there's another option. It says previous lock settings were found. And that would be the five by seven locked settings that I used the first time. So if I lock in the current, it will lock in this package. But I can also bring back the previous, which is also useful. So now it's gone back to one copy with five by seven and it's locked that in. It allows you to bring back the previous settings. So you can see how that works. It allows you to have a lot of flexibility with what you're doing. And if you like to have QImage Ultimate start up with particular settings that you like to use because they're the most common, you can do that. Or you can just have it remember the settings that you used in the previous session, depending on whether this button is locked or unlocked. So thanks for watching and I hope that helps you with your printing tasks.